All right, let's look at this particular question. This question is from 0580 um, May, June 2023 paper. We are looking at question number 21. So question number 21 says that a curve has equation y equals to x cubed minus 12x. So take note that this is not a straight line. This is actually a cubic curve. Okay, and we are supposed to find the gradient of the curve at the point 1, negative 11. Okay, with that, you should actually know that this fall under the differentiation. Okay, because we are tasked to find the gradient of the tangent at a curve at a point 1, negative 11. So how do we do that? So first thing, we are going to write the equation of the curve. Y equals x cubed minus 12x. So dy dx is equals to 3x squared minus 12. So this is the expression for dy dx. And because I want to find the gradient at a point 1, negative 11, I know the x value is 1. So the gradient will be equals to 3. I substitute x to be 1. Then I'll calculate it. So it's 3 minus 12, which will be negative 9. So the gradient is negative 9. Okay, now for part B, find the coordinates of the turning points of the curve. So when I want to find the coordinates of the turning points of the curve, I need to know that, okay, for the turning point, for the turning points, I have the information that my dy dx will be equal to 0. So, since I already know that my dy dx is equals to 3x squared minus 12 from part A, now I let it be 0. So, I'll have 3x squared minus 12 equals to 0. I need to solve this quadratic equation. So, I factorize out 3. So I have x squared minus 4 equals to 0. So let me continue here. So x squared minus 4 equals to 0. I can factorize this to x minus 2. x plus 2 equals to 0. So my value of x is either equals to 2 or negative 2. But because I want to find the turning point, it will be in the form of x comma y. So I need to find a corresponding y value of the turning point. So let's see. So I need the equation of the curve again. Now I will have to substitute x equals 2 into y equals to x cubed minus 12x. x cubed minus 12x. Okay, so my y value will be 2 cubed minus 12, 2. So it will be 8 minus 24, which will be negative 16. So the first point, therefore, will be 2 comma negative 16. Okay, so for the second point, I will have to substitute x equals to negative 2 into y. So I'll have y is equals to negative 2 cubed minus 12 negative 2. So this will be negative 8 plus 24, which will be 16. So therefore, my second turning point will be negative 2 comma 16. So this 2 will be my answer. So let's put it down. 2 negative 16 and negative 2 comma 16. Alright, thank you.